Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Really excited to do this particular video. If you guys have not heard of the Estee Lauder Holiday Kit, they release one every year. I believe it's normally about $300 in value. Um, and you do have to purchase it in addition to at least, I believe, normally $45 worth of other Estee Lauder products to qualify to receive it at that sale price. So um, there's a lot of rules that kind of go along with it. It is not a free gift. It is a holiday kit that is severely discounted. Um, I honestly have not gotten one in my adult life. I got one when I was much younger because my mother uh, bought herself one and then my dad bought her one for Christmas and she found out about it and she was like, oh my gosh, so she gave me it for Christmas. So we each got one that, that Christmas. Um, but I was pretty young then. I was probably about like 13 or so. So I didn't really appreciate the, the full kit. I was like, oh cool. But I wasn't like, oh wow, this is a really great kit. This year, mom and I decided to go to the Southern Christmas show. It takes place every single year. I haven't been since I was a child. Once again, when I went, or when we were younger, um, we went every single year. And so this was the, once again, the first time in my adult life I got to go experience it with my own money to spend. That was a bad decision. You guys saw the haul from it yesterday. I got a lot of great stuff. And um, we're filming it on the Saturday. Tomorrow is the last day and mom and I have talked about going back tomorrow. So we may actually go back again. That being said, one of the big hot ticket items every year is Estee Lauder always has a storefront set up there and they have the holiday kit released um, out there ready for you to purchase. And normally if you buy it at the show, you do get bonus features as well, which of course I got some of those. So I did go ahead and purchase it. I spent $132 at Estee Lauder, but I think what I got was a pretty decent deal. I did buy a perfume in order to qualify for it and I really like the scent of that. So today I figured I would give you guys an in-depth look at the kit itself, make a little eye look and lip look and uh, finish off the face look to show you whether or not it's really worth it. Now there will be some products that are really big ticket items in this particular kit that I will not be featuring just because of what they are. So it does include an advanced night repair serum and eye cream. The serum itself is a full-sized version of this product and that one retails at $70. So basically you paid what you would pay for one of those serums for this entire kit that is featured, um, that features one of those full-size items. And then it does also have a um, revitalizing supreme anti-aging cell power, power cream. And these are sample sizes, but they're not really sample sizes. I mean, we've all seen sample sizes. These are like nice featured sizes. You're gonna get a good amount of product out of that. So that is really nice as well. And then it also comes with a gentle eye makeup remover in a full size and you do get three lipsticks, two lip glosses, a mascara, and then two eyeshadow palettes. So it's a lot of stuff for $70, especially knowing how much Estee Lauder normally costs. But I did wanna talk about the four products, the creams and things that I will not be featuring because I'm not going to be using them, obviously, for a makeup look. They do have two different color choices as well. They had a very neutral one that came with really bold lipsticks and then they had a bright eyeshadow palette choice that came with more neutral lipsticks. I chose the bright eyeshadows. They do feature a lot of blue shade, which are not normally what I go for, but I felt like they were really, really pretty in terms of the colors that were available in them. Um, even the blue shades, I feel like there's a lot you can do with them for like under eye, um, like on your lower lash line and things like that. So I did go ahead and choose this one. Quite frankly, I felt like the neutral ones were a little bit boring, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't like, I love a good neutral palette, but it just seemed very mundane. So I did choose this palette, especially, or this collection, especially since it came with lip colors that I knew I would use more. So that being said, I am going to go ahead and use the blush to see it's a little bit pinkier than what I would like for this particular dress, but I, uh, I wanna give you guys the full effect of what comes in this palette. So we're going to use that. It's very neutral. Maybe because I have a giant brush and I'm trying to get it in that like little, little pan. It's very neutral. It's a very neutral blush shade. It's not a bad thing at all. It's a really good thing. I think if you're trying to do just like a nice subdued little look or if you want to really feature like eyes and things like that and don't want to take away from it by having a heavy blush color, I think that is actually not a bad option. So that's a, that's a cheek color. Um, probably not one of my favorites, if I'm being 100% honest. It's not one that I would normally go for. Um, I may actually wind up using that mainly as an eyeshadow because it's actually a pretty pink for like a nice blending shade for an eyeshadow look. And I feel like maybe it's just partially the pan is just really, really tiny. And so getting a brush in there makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, and then they do, I think this is a highlighter, but let me make sure. They call it a sculpting brush, but it is like a very light, almost champagne-y color with like reflectiveness in it. So I'm gonna try it as a highlighter and I'm gonna hope for the best. And if it's terrible, then uh, I will adjust. 
Oh no, that's definitely, that's like a really muted highlighter actually. I like this. It reminds me of the Ofra, Ofra, however you say it. Uh, they're like golden color that I think, oh, on the nose, that's a lot. Oh, oh, I done messed up it, Aaron. Let's fix that. So on the cheeks, I really actually like it. Uh, once again, it is a little bit more neutral than I would normally go for with uh, the highlighters, but on the nose, it like really was like, bam. So I'm not sure I would use it for an all over highlighter. You probably can get by with it as a cheek color, but um, my nose is gonna be a little orange today. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. But yeah, so those are the face colors. They I They I Let's, I, yeah, moving on. Okay, so I do want to, I have a couple really pretty purple shades. The only downside I really feel to the colors that they are giving you in this palette is most of them are shimmer. I get it, it's holiday. I get it, everybody likes glitter and bling for Christmas and New Year's, I do too. That being said, I just don't like working primarily with glitter pigments. Um, it's not my thing. I think it's very hard to do effectively and to not make it look like you just like, dipped your whole face in, um, I don't know, like a strip club bathtub. I don't know. I don't know. I just, very, very challenging. It's something that I don't normally try and do, but I am going to do it today. I think looking at this palette, I believe I have four matte shades to work with. I believe if I'm looking at that correctly, four that I would call pretty much all matte. Everything else has at least a slight reflectiveness to it. So it will be a challenge, but you know what? I didn't come here to quit. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going in with the darkest purple shade and I'm just gonna do on the outside corner and just trying to get it up with my brush. I, I did feel like it was like a little challenging. This is a brush that I'm normally really good about like getting good color payoff with it, if that makes sense, especially for like a concentrated area. And I feel like it's taking me a little bit of like digging into that palette to get anything off of it. The shade itself actually is pretty. When I start seeing that payoff, it is actually a really pretty shade. It's not as glittery as I was worried it was gonna be. It honestly looks like it's kind of just like a slight shimmer to it. I don't like having to pull my eyelid taut when I'm applying eyeshadow. I think that that's a sign of like a more challenging eyeshadow to use if I'm being 100% honest. The fact that I'm having to do this is not making me like thrilled. That being said, it is not a terrible color. It is just a little bit differ I guess in terms of like trying to get this junk off so we got some purple on the eye I'm actually gonna go in with there's like a pewter type shade that I would um would say is got just a slight shimmer to it but it could be classified as a matte I didn't classify it as one of the mattes originally because I did see a little bit of that reflectiveness in it but I am gonna take just a little bit of that and just go up along the top of that purple and that one I felt like i I used the same exact brush and that one seemed to just pay off a little bit better in terms of picking it up on the, br the brush more easily, more readily, and also applying it to the eye itself. I'm basically just using that as a crease shade, but it's really pretty, very neutral. That one is actually very easy to work with. And yeah, the payoff for that one I really, really like actually. So I'm pretty happy with that particular shade. I like that one a whole lot. Now I'm actually gonna do my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in, there's like a very, pink, almost magenta, like purple shade that's very glittery. I'm gonna go in with that for the lower lash line. And that one is paying off pretty well as well. So far, just that purple shade has been the only one that's given me any sort of trouble. And I'm not gonna lie, it scared me at first because I was like, oh gosh, the whole palette's gonna be like this and be like, what? So that's what we've got going on so far. I really, I think the colors actually complement each other very well. Um, I think that now that I've kind of gotten used to the palette itself, Besides that one shade, we are actually uh, working pretty pretty well. So I'm going to go in with a light purple now, and I'm going to do like a blending color. This one is incredibly glittery. I'm seeing it immediately. So I'm just going to put a very tiny bit up at the top over off to the side. That is like super glittery. See, and that's the one. Okay, so that's a, a big downside in my opinion is that I can't tell which ones are going to have a ton of glitter pigmentation and which ones are going to be just very subdued. And that is, um, in my opinion, that's a real big issue because I need to know if I'm going to be like, oh, I can work with this as a normal shade or it could work kind of as a matte shade as well or if it's going to be like, bam, that's glitter. So that was bam, that's glitter. And now I'm going to take a totally different shade and I'm going to blend it in because I don't like having a ton of glitter all the way up at the top of my eye. I use like a really nice matte pink shade to do this particular blending. 
I feel like that light purple made it look a little murky, so I'm not thrilled about that. But what are you gonna do? We'll just push forward and hope for the best. Okay, now that I know what to expect with that particular purple shade, I'm actually gonna go in and use it as the, like, the glitter shade for the inside of the eye. It just was very, 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 yeah, but see how reflective that is? It's crazy. And I'm gonna try and actually pick up a little bit more of that dark purple shade and see if I can just highlight the back end. I guess low light would be the better word for it, the back end. I mean, it's darkening it. It just is, I'm gonna go in with the Peter shade because I think that's just working better. So overall right now, I'm not disliking it. Um, I think if I hadn't gotten it in a kit that I know was honestly well worth the value just because I do like their night creams. I really like their makeup remover. You get so much makeup with it as well. I think if I had paid for just the palette on its own or if I had paid more than $70 when I knew that that night repair cream was, you know, $70 in value itself, I probably would be a little bit more upset if I'm just being honest. I feel like the makeup was just kind of like, it's like the bonus gift, like it's free. You pay for it theoretically, but with what you're getting in the kit, it's really like, it's kind of like just an, an added bonus, a perk if you will. So that being said, I feel like it is worth it. The makeup aspect of it is kind of like, it's okay. You know, like it's, it's all right, it's, it's there. So I went ahead and cleaned up my eyes just a little bit more. They're still a little murky up where I put that glitter shade at the top. I'm really regretting that decision now. If I could go back in time, I would, but I can't. So like Cher said, if I could turn back time, but I cannot, so alas. We're gonna move on to mascara. Um, so it came with the Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Mascara. I have not used it, but it does seem like it's coming off pretty thick. And it's just kind of like a giant, like, Christmas tree looking wand. I don't think that was purposeful for the holiday kit. I think that's just what it looks like, but it's what it reminds me of. So we'll see how this one does. Ah, him a cheek! So uh, initially, just based off the fact that it immediately went onto my cheek in a weird position, I would say I am correct in the assumption that it is. Yeah, it's just kind of like there's a lot of it on the wand that does some, some mascara wands do a really good job of, like, kind of, pulling off that like excess as it comes out of the tube. This particular one is uh, not great at that. It is clumping a lot, which I am not a fan of in particular, but it is at the same time doing a really nice job of lifting and separating my lashes when too much of the product is not getting onto my eyelash itself and then making it clump. So it's actually like on the back end where my lashes are a little bit longer and a little bit more separated. It is doing a really nice job of lifting and separating. They look very long. So you guys can see right here, that little black dot, it has hit me. Unfortunate, it's not coming off, that's fine. It is very minimal, it's not a ton of discoloration, um, so I can live with it. And actually the mascara does do a really nice job of making my lashes look very long and separated. So I can't say it's a bad mascara, I do just feel like there could be a little bit of a better design in terms of like the shape of the bristles and the wand, like the, the shape of the, the neck of the bottle where the wand comes out as well in order to kind of like pull off some of that excess. But overall, really not a bad mascara, a very um, decent mascara in terms of like what I like and what I look for. So, so yeah, so the eye look is done. Uh, we're gonna move on to lip color. And I'm going to do, I don't normally do lip gloss, but I'll do one today just so we can see one. I did choose, this is probably the most neutral shade in this kit. It is like a nice kind of mauve like pink color. Then you've got a little bit more of like a bright pink. And then you've got a really dark, almost berry color which might look good, but today I'm just not feeling doing dark or bright eyes and dark lips, but that is like, it's like a very berry kind of color. So we've got those. And then for the lip glosses, you get a pink one and you get a white one. I think I'm gonna go in with a white one because once again, I wanna keep it a little bit um, more subdued. It, they are both very glittery. So that's what that looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera or not, but that's what it looks like. And I do have to say, Estee Lauder's lip lipsticks are some of my favorites. Um, I really like the texture of them. I feel like they apply really easily. Yeah, they, norm they don't normally give me a, a big problem, so. All right, so that's what the lip color looks like. And then with the lip gloss, it smells so good. It smells like a sugar cookie. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. All right, so that's the final look using the Estee Lauder 
holiday kit. I don't think they have a name for it. I think they just they just call it the holiday kit. So there we go. That is what we were able to create. It is a very nice look. It easily could be used for a holiday glam type thing. The colors in this particular eyeshadow palette, I did not, the, the two palettes, I did not feel like they were like extra Christmassy. The other ones I didn't feel like were extra Christmassy either. There was a lot of purples and blues in this particular one. And then there were a lot of just like browns and variations of browns and variations of browns in the other one. So, so yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Overall, I would say this kit is probably worth the $70. You're going to wind up paying for it. You're going to have to pay whatever the $45, whatever product you want to purchase to get the ability to purchase this on top of that. So it is going to be like a nice little chunk of money down. However, you get a lot of stuff with the kit itself. You get those night repair creams, which alone are probably, I mean, between the three creams you're getting, that's probably close to a $200 value alone. Then you get all the makeup on top of that and you get the makeup remover, which I genuinely do like. And you get this really gorgeous briefcase looking carrying case. It fits a ton of stuff. There are cases, you guys know me with bags and sets and stuff. I will do anything to get a free bag. And this is a very nice one. So overall, I can't say it's not worth the money. It, I would use it for your discretion. If you are somebody who's very particular about your makeup, you may love it, you may hate it, if I'm just being honest. As somebody who has a ton of makeup, do I think it's one of the palettes that I'm going to reach for regularly? Probably not. Um, but I do think that I will wind up getting my money's worth out of the set as a total. So for me, yes, it was worth buying. I did just want to give you guys a quick look at it uh, before Black Friday starts, before people really start getting into the holiday buying. So that way you can see whether or not you think for you it would be worthwhile to purchase this holiday bundle or if you're getting it for a gift. That way you can see it kind of being worked with as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps us a whole butt. But a whole butt whole butt, whole bunch is what I was trying to say. Yeah. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to the page, please do so. Hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you see every time we post videos. I have a ton of stuff worked up for you for the Christmas season. I'm very excited to jump into it. Nikki and I have already been filming for it. I've got about like eight other holiday looks that I want to plan and then a ton of hauls and things like that. So it's just going to be nonstop content as much as we possibly can get it out for you. So please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Dark Angel family. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful stay, a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist. I wish I could talk today.